Let's have a look at the interfaces example. Now we can see here that we define three types and methods as we've seen before. We have a vector 3D struct, we have a vector 2D struct, and we have a number which is a float64. We've also defined an interface called Euclid and it includes a method signature called norm. Now we got norm for our number because all defined types implement norm. Now we've added it to Euclid as well. So later on down here when we declare our var and say that it's a Euclid that means that we get to use the norm in each case. So norm works for 3D, 2D, and the number. Let's see what happens. Great. Okay, let's move on to the empty interface demonstration. I'm just going to clear this out and drop the example in like that. Now, this is the empty interface. It's an interface with nothing inside. And we're creating a var called i and saying that it's an empty interface. Now, owing to it being an empty interface, we can put anything we like inside of i. So here we set i to a number, and then we print it out. And then we set i to a string, and we print it out. So that just illustrates that an, uh, a, a var that's set to a, an empty interface can store anything. Then we do something interesting here on line 14. Uh, what this is saying is that the value of i will go into s and then ok is going to receive a bool. And the bool is going to tell us if i is a string or not. So this dot parentheses format is revealing the underlying type of i. When we run this we expect to get test because that's what i is set to and we expect to get true because OK or I should say because I is a string. The last time we set I it became a string. So let's see what happens. <laughs> 